In a major development, the DRDO has successfully flight tested the smart torpedo, and this supersonic missile assisted release of torpedo technology is a major breakthrough, as it will give a standoff capability to the Indian Navy in anti submarine operations due to its large range of 650 kilometers. Officials have said that all mission objectives were met successfully, including the flight range and altitude, separation of nose cone, and the release of torpedo and deployment of velocity reduction mechanism. The smart torpedo can be launched from a naval ship or a truck-based coastal battery, and it will take off like a supersonic missile, and will cover most of its flight at low altitudes, and it will remain connected via two-way data link from the naval ship or an airborne submarine target detection system, and the supersonic missile will eject the torpedo when it is close to the enemy submarine, and then the autonomous lightweight torpedo will start moving towards its target which means that the submerged submarine will be unaware of the smart torpedo till the last minute, giving less time for the crew to react with countermeasures. A model of the SWIFT technology demonstrator was seen in a recently uploaded video by the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur, which is the principal academic institution that is conducting fundamental research on the program, and will also be developing the technology demonstrator with the Aeronautical Development Agency. The SWIFT is intended to develop technologies that is required in the final autonomous unmanned research aircraft. The DRDO is expected to test the SWIFT technology demonstrator in 2021, and the collected data on the flight dynamics will be used to carry out further improvements. The oral project will also involve large-scale private sector participation like the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet. The Modi government had sanctioned 267 crore rupees for the project in 2016, and is set to sanction 3,000 crore rupees for the indigenous program. India and Russia had initiated the talks for the Sprit STM-1 light tanks by the end of July 2020, and as per latest reports, India and Russia are in the final level discussions for the procurement under a fast-track government-to-government deal. We have already reported in July that the new tanks have started trial in Russia, and the Indian Army will soon conduct a series of field tests before the deal is finalized. India could acquire 24 tanks in the first batch, and the procurement will cost less than 500 crore rupees, which also falls within the emergency financial powers given to chiefs of the three services. The indigenously developed laser-guided anti-tank system that was successfully tested from the 120mm cannon of the indigenous Arjun main battle tank, is also capable of being used from the 125mm gun of the Russian origin T-90 tanks, as the laser-guided system has multi-platform launch capability. After two successful tests in the past 10 days, the DRDO aims to conduct user trials of the system by February 2021, in which it will be tested with a live payload. After completing the harbor trial in August 2020, INS Vikrant is all set to undergo the basin trial this month. If everything goes according to the plan, the sea trial will be held in December 2020, and induction into the Indian Navy by the end of 2021. The third India-US 2 plus 2 dialogue will take place on 26 October, as the Indian government is ready to sign the Basic Exchange and Cooperation Agreement for Geospatial Cooperation with the US government, which is needed for India to acquire the Predator B drones that uses geospatial data. India could also announce the signing of 30 Predator B drones during this meeting, out of which six will be delivered by the end of this year. The DRDO has issued an expression of interest from qualified Indian companies to build and supply the indigenously developed high-speed expendable aerial target drone. It estimates an annual requirement of 200 units, and this number will surely increase due to the fast-expanding Indian development programs. Thank <laughs> you.